Hey everybody, welcome to Boots and Jeans Riders. I'm Rich. And I'm Kay. As you can see, we're in our favorite parking lot about to drop some cones today and get some practice in. But what I want to talk about today also is last time we done a group practice, there was a guy who couldn't get the basic U-turns and he just kind of said, why well, I need I to practice, practice anyway? I could just go on and do Walk my bike around. around slow, yes. So we're going to discuss that right after our parking lot practice. We're going to go drop these cones right quick. Here's a reason why you should be doing parking lot practice. Let's say it's a nice Sunday evening. You are out there riding your favorite back roads and everything. You relaxed. You had a great time. Now you headed home. On your way home, you say, okay, let me try something new. Maybe check out a new location. You decide to make this turn right here. You're moseying along, making this turn. You finally made this turn this right turn. Once you make that turn, you're gassing up, getting ready to go down and see what these new places look like, this new this road that you haven't been down before, just checking it out. No, nothing big. Then all of a sudden you realize, wow, it's a dead end. I gotta turn back around. I didn't see no sign. You pull over, you stop your bike. Because remember, you didn't have the parking lot practice, so you decide to stop your bike. You stop your bike, whew, take that deep breath, you say, okay, now I can make this U-turn. But you don't know how big the street is. Let's say it's a huge street. Let's say it's 30 foot, 36 foot. You go, wow, I got to make this U-turn. You look over your shoulder. You look in the mirror. You look over your shoulder again. Back to the mirror. Over your shoulder. Back to the mirror. Shoulder, mirror, shoulder, mirror. I can do this. Now, because you didn't do parking lot practice, you decide to make this U-turn. But the only thing you know how to do is walk it around. Because remember, you say, I can walk my bike around. I don't have to do this parking lot practice. So now you start to walk that bike around. You looked over your shoulder, everything was clear. So you're walking that bike around. But remember, you wasn't that parking lot practice. So you don't do what? You don't do the full lock. You're scared to do that full lock. You're scared to lean that bike. So you walk your bike around straight up and down. You're walking, you're walking, everything's fine. You get to a point to where, okay, I got this. Now let's just pause for a second now the exact same scenario a vehicle a car a truck a four-wheeler call it what you want doing the exact same thing you were doing decide to make that same turn that you was making that's the street right here i always wanted to turn down here and see what this is here all right oh sh what and you know Oh. Cars don't look for motorcycles. They come in pretty fast. Then all of a sudden, they realize there's a motorcycle in the road. They slam on their brakes, but they're not going to stop. A motorcycle. You see the car. Uh-oh. Now, you're in the middle of your turn. What do you do? What do you do? You have a couple of options. Option number one, you freeze because basically your feet dragging, you're scared to put your feet up and complete the U-turn. You freeze and the car don't stop time enough and the car collide with you and seriously injured and are dead. Safety is one of the number one reasons you need to be out there parking lot practicing. Option number two, jump off the bike and run. After all, you have insurance anyway, so the insurance will take care of the bike damage. Option number one and option number two, not good. Let's try option number three. Option number three, you decide, okay, now I need to get out of the way out of this car. I'm gonna throttle up, let out this clutch, make this U-turn. Because you hadn't been practicing in the parking lot, you let the clutch out too fast, too much gas, you hit the curve, and obviously you know what that lead to. So these are the reasons, the primary reasons you should be doing parking lot practices. So I ask you, cones or curves? The choice is yours. We rather choose the cones in order to avoid the curves. And if you ever come into the situation, you can actually complete the U-turn without even thinking about it. 
So now, ask yourself, why practice? You have a choice. Cones or curve? Let me know one of the number one reasons to practice is, is safety. If you just can't do a simple U-turn on a large street and you're walking that bike around, the likelihood that a car running into you is slim to none, but you never know. Why take that chance on your life or destroying your bike? Secondly, you will have so much pride and joy knowing that you can actually handle your bike the way you can. It takes some practice. And the key to practice is consistency. Once you get the U-turns and the figure eights and whatever maneuvers you're doing, don't stop. Another question is, how often do you practice? How often should I practice? Once a week, twice a week if you can, five minutes, 20 minutes, an hour. I don't know the answer to that. Until you get muscle memory down to where it's second nature, you don't have to think about what to do, and do you transfer that parking lot practice to the real world and you won't have to worry about walking your bike around in slow maneuvers. So the question again, cones or curb? We choose the cones. I'll make the video short, I'm gonna conclude it right there. So if you like it, give us a thumbs up, hit that like button. And if you hadn't already subscribed, we definitely appreciate it. Go on hit that subscribe button and once you hit the subscribe button, go on and ring that bell. Don't forget to comment below and tell us how often you parking lot practice. Till then, I'm Rich from Boots and Jeans Riders. Ride long, ride hard, ride strong, but most importantly, ride safe. Until then, peace. <laughs> I'm going to finish dropping some cones.